Yes, guys, welcome back to Rounds in the Bank with JD and Matchroom Boxing. I hope you followed along with last week's workout because this week we've got something special. Are you ready? So we're going to be bringing you one episode every week throughout the month of January. All these circuits are done by professional boxers. See how you compare up to a professional athlete and let us know how you get on. Right, guys, I'm joined by Pat McCormick, Olympic silver medalist, and your brother's in Team DB as well, isn't he? Yeah, my brother's uh, Olympian as well. He's be starting his um, professional debut very soon, so we'll look forward to the future. Right, okay, so we're going to do a, a circuit based around how you would do it in camp. Yep. So talk me a little bit through this, about this circuit. Like, is this something that you could do regularly? How many times a week would you do it? Yeah, we'll probably do this circuit once a week. It's uh, like an interval session. Um, 30 seconds on, I think we're doing 20 seconds today, but 30 seconds on each exercise, six times round, and uh, yeah, it's a hard session, uh, get, to the, get to the blood pumping. You ready to go then? I'm ready to go, yeah. let's get to hard, let's get you a little warm done, and then we'll get to it. Machine, go for your back, pull, and pull, pushing with your legs, uh, split yeah. squats, alternative split squats, um, good for your um, legs, explosive power, ball slams, explosive slams, um, getting some power into the floor, floor press, like a press up on the ball, yeah, um, yes, and again, explosive ball. power, you think? And then, we all know Lama press is going to be great for punching power, right? Yeah, obviously it's a punching movement, um, getting the twist in with the turn, Russian twist, good for core cool strength, taking body shots. There you go. 20 seconds, let's go. It's a good pace. Last five seconds, let's go. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Ready? Yeah. Time. Keep going. Cross five. Time. Ten seconds rest. And then you're doing your ball slams here. Would you say it's important to control your breathing throughout all this? Yeah, definitely got to control your breathing. Right, Make sure go. you get your recovery. Make sure you breathe through the exercise as well. Last five seconds. <laughs> Time. Whew. Floor press now. Yeah. Keep pushing. When you got this. Off we did. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, time. <laughs> and then we're straight into a landmark press. <laughs> what is it going to do one arm? Next time we do you can, you can do one arm and then switch at 10 seconds. Let's go. We do your first arm and then I'll tell you to switch. Switch. Time. 10 seconds rest and then you got your Russian twists. Yeah. <coughs> Ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Last <laughs> 10 seconds. Nice and easy. Time. So you got a minute rest. Well, four more times, right? Four more times. Easy work. Yeah? How are you feeling after that? Easy work. Easy work? No, I feel good. Okay. Time to pump Sweating it up a little, little bit. Yeah? Get harder as it goes on. Yeah, yeah. So people training this at home, like what would you say is the best kind of way to tackle this? Is to potentially ease in from the first round? I would say um, try and start at a pace and maintain it. Don't start too fast. 
start a bit slow because you're going to get tired towards the end. So just start at a decent pace that you're comfortable with so you can maintain it all the way through. Yeah, and then as you get towards the later rounds, you got some uh, gas left in the side. Yeah, and you can at the later rounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a good, a good we'll little get way to do it. <laughs> a lot of people do, like, yeah. I mean, I definitely did. I got yeah. excited when, when I did this. I got a little bit too excited early on. Blew out in the first round. <laughs> you, start, you start off and you're feeling good because obviously you've got lots of energy in the tank, but after a few times round, it's going to drop, so make sure you maintain the peace. Choose good blood work for you. So things like this, you would suggest like this is basically something that you can pace yourself up, but you basically want to leave it all out there. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I'll fight in a few months, so I try it like a workout and left it all in there. And when it comes to recovery, like how how do you recover well? Uh, make sure you get your sleep, you eating right, you're drinking plenty of water, and you're doing your stretches. I think stretches are the main thing. When you're training, tightens all your muscles up, so you need stretch lean, we're gonna act it. Yeah, yeah. Stay mentally prepared. Mentally prepared, that's what's all in there. Thank you, Seth, isn't it? Yeah, well, do you know what? I'm looking forward to seeing the fight. Thanks a lot, we appreciate it, though. Don't forget to join us next week and carry it on. Let's go.